Good morning from Cancun, Mexico. Today I'm visiting uh, Maya town. It's called uh, Chichen Itza. It's very famous. And the bus is picking us up at 6.50 in the morning. Now it's about 6 a.m. And it's recommended to get a breakfast before because lunch, is, uh, which is included, is at 12. Um, so now I'm going to a supermarket, try to find something to eat. Here's one big supermarket. Hopefully they have something. Yeah, there's someone inside. Looks promising. Let's see. This one is close too. Um, yeah, let's check out another one, but um, time is running. But I still have these Cheeto balls here from yesterday. <laughs> Maybe this is gonna be my breakfast. I'm back in the hostel and I got a taco in the last second. So I'm here on time, but uh, <laughs> as always, the bus driver is not here yet. At least I can have my breakfast uh, without pressure now. It looks so fresh. Very delicious. This uh, very long day tour is for the people going to Chichen Itza is three hours together. Our first stop was at this Mayan village where we got a nice welcome ceremony of uh, the Mayans since we entered their uh, territory. Right after the ceremony we had a delicious lunch with typical Mayan dishes. We made it to the cenote. Here are the changing rooms. I will take on my <coughs> swimming trunks. And then we go down to the cenote. Um, usually the water is much clearer, but uh, since we're in the rainy season, it's a bit blurry and not so clear. But it's quite cool how deep these cenotes are. Swimming in the cenote was very, very refreshing and now I'm heading back to the bus because uh, our next stop will be at the Maya temple. I'm really excited. Um, yes, and I took some nice drone footage um, of the cenote and the water was not too cold, I have to say, uh, quite warm and once the sun is out it is very, very hot. Uh, we just arrived in the beautiful town of Valladolid in Mexico. Uh, the bus driver let us out here. We are still on the way to the Mayan temple, but this is like a little pit stop in between. Um, weather is great, too good. <laughs> and yeah, here's a beautiful park behind me. And in front of us, there's a church I will show you. Looks quite decent and historical. I will show you. Beautiful architecture. And also the park looks great. Okay, he just said that the park has the size of the Mayan uh, pyramid, which is interesting. So you can uh, kind of get a feeling of the size of the, py uh, the pyramid. Definitely not a bad idea to have an umbrella, like our tour guide has. It's probably 
about 35 degrees today and it's uh, noon so the sun is shining very strong uh, I need to be careful to not lose my group here ah okay we're going back to the bus that was a very short stop Hola amigos, uh, right behind me is one of the seven world wonders, the Chichen Itza temple. It is, uh, how I found out, a huge calendar. So uh, from the shadow which falls off uh, on the pyramid, you can tell uh, which date it is. The whole temple is actually built on a cenote, which is underneath the pyramid. And there are three pyramids um, on top of each other and you can see the door there. Uh, through this door you can enter the cenote which is underneath. Behind me you can hear people clapping and they are doing it because the sound of the clap um, is echoing in the temple which causes a sound of, which sounds like a bird and uh, this is the sound of a special bird which uh, lives here and uh, it's a symbol of the Mayan god um, so it's pretty interesting how the Mayans uh, designed um, these buildings in a way that it's uh, yeah it works with echoes square okay everybody together on the count of three tequila one two two and a half three Tequila! <laughs> and twice a year, Mayans were playing this um, ball game. There were two teams playing against each other, uh, trying to throw the ball through these little rings, um, which were located at the walls of the um, buildings. And yeah, the winner uh, was actually killed and earned the eternal life. And the whole purpose of this ball game was to thank the gods for keeping the land fertile. Now we're going back to the bus. Thankfully the sun is covered. It's not that hot anymore. Every single day 30 to 50,000 people are coming here and you can tell it uh, by looking at all these um, stands here uh, they sell Mayan figures and little temples and I ended up buying this hut here because uh, before it was so sunny and hot that I um, wanted to avoid uh, getting a sunburn or <laughs> I already have a sunburn so I didn't want to make it worse um, yeah, I negotiated quite hard with the vendor and paid um, ten dollars in the end. Still, still too much, I guess, but it's okay. Hope you guys like it. Oh, and another really interesting fact, uh, which I learned today from our tour guide, is that um, you might heard that the Mayan calendar ends in 2012, but he told us that. Uh, this was actually the day where all the um, planets in our solar system were aligned um, and this was all predicted from the Mayans uh, back in their time. So if this is true, it's pretty impressive. Um, I definitely want to Google it later. Um, but yeah, um, they were really into astronomy and um, connected like to the universe. It's it's a super interesting culture and also um, uh, I learned that there are only three um, books from the Mayans left. Um, they're in Germany, France and Spain and uh, the rest of all, uh, all their books uh, were burned back in the days when the Spanish people in, invaded uh, Mexico. It's a shame, I guess, uh, how much knowledge is uh, lost forever because uh, it seems that they were a really high um, developed culture and who knows what they knew, what we don't know today. 
Uh, yeah, it's a pity. 